What is going on lads and welcome to 5 key tips to hugely improve your game. So this is going to be the first in this series, we're starting at the beginner level. If you are a long term dream team player, you've played a lot of eFootball 22 or played a lot of PES or any football game really, you will know that a lot of these are kind of very basic, you know, and kind of telling very simple uh, ways of improving your game. But if you are a newcomer or you're looking to go online for the first time or, you know, dip your toe into the, the madness that is dream team, I think these tips can actually really improve your game because they are basic. We are at the beginner level in this episode, the first episode of the series, but they do work and they give you the edge. So the first one is to become a free kick master. As I said, lads, these are very simplified. They're very basic, but we are starting as if you are a newcomer coming over. I have a video on how to go into training mode, but you simply go from the main menu to the training mode, train a menu, and then you choose your free kicks. And from here, you can pick whatever player you want to practice free kicks with, except legends, obviously, but you can pick any player that you want, left foot, right foot, you can place the ball wherever you actually want to be able to practice multiple free kicks. And I see time and time again, lads, when I come up against a player that gets a really good chance to settle the game or to come, you know, back with a 3-2 with a win or something like that to come back into the game before half time, they'll get a chance in front of goal and they'll fluff their lines. They just won't be able to score on a consistent basis. So I think the free kicks are so easy that if you're getting a chance, you need to be putting it home. So you need to practice them. Next up, we have using an anchorman. So again, this is probably one of my biggest tips. Obviously, as you advance and as you get better at the game, you can kind of you know, you, could, you don't really need to be as deep with your DMF, but if you are a newcomer, which this video is mostly intended for, you will see that the likes of Sergio Busquets has got Anchorman in his playstyle. So we'll get into the playstyle in a minute, but what we want Busquets to be doing in this squad is to simply be kind of the man in the middle between Van Dijk and Piol. So we want to go into the individual instructions. I have a dedicated video on that as well, but just copy what I'm doing on the screen here, lads. I am going through a quick to keep the videos quick. Um, but we are going to put anchoring on Busquets in his first individual instruction and in his second individual instruction we are going to put defensive which basically tells you exactly what they're doing there, what the actual defensive individual instructions do. So what we effectively want to be doing is keeping Busquets right here in this position that when we don't have the ball or when we're going forward in attack he is the last line of defense before our center halves or our back four. Um, and as you can see there, an anchorman is defined as a deep-sitting defensive midfielder protecting the back line. That is exactly what we want. We want him to be kind of like playing as a third center back. And if you're playing five at the back, you've got so much potential to just stop out attacks. Next up, we have got sub tactics. So again, I get a lot of questions about this, how to turn on sub tactics. Hopefully this clears everything up. Um, but I think that the way I use sub tactics is to confuse opponents, right? So obviously when you are starting a game, you will go in and you will check to see what team your opponent has, right? So when we choose our main formation and then we switch to our sub tactic, you can do a lot of weird and, you know, wonderful stuff with the sub tactic that can really mix and, you know, mess up your opponent's uh, way of dealing with you. So you can't change positions. You have to drag and drop. But what we're going to be doing here is effectively having a different kind of formation, a different flow, so that if he's man marking any of my players or if he's like really doubling down, we'll be able to do, you know, different tactics and different strategies on the pitch. Now, when we actually go into the game itself, you will see here me toggle it on. So I've set up He's thinking, right, I'm going to be playing a 4-4-2 or a 4-5-1. When I choose this, you either hold up or down on the D-pad until this clicks on. You're going to be confusing your opponent because he won't know what formation you're playing. So now we're going to mix in the useful overtake skill, which is number four on this list. So again, I see a lot of people not really using this, and it is one of the most effective skill moves. I still think double touch is probably more effective, but if you're playing against a player that is not the best defensively, you can absolutely destroy this, you know, these guys on the wing, right? Because the majority of players that defend in eFootball are going to like bum rush you, right? So when you're in a position like this, Varane is basically going to be like waiting for you to get the ball to then defend you, right? So he's just tried to flick and we know the issues with the responsiveness sometimes. You can see there that the command is as outlined as follows, that you just hold the R stick in the direction that the ball is traveling. So you hold it towards the goals there and it lets it run on. And it's different, you know, there's different animations to it. But a lot of the time, it, you know, it won't work out against a good opponent. But if you are trying to mix it in, it can be a huge advantage. And last but not least, lads, we have got number five, which finesse shots are overpowered. I can't state enough that if you're struggling to score goals, 
there is more advanced ways of scoring goals and this definitely isn't the easiest or the best but if you've got the right player and you just finesse 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 in front of goals there are certain positions that once you kind of have beaten the keeper in terms of you've beaten the angle a lot of the kind of finishes and stuff that you're seeing here are the angles have been beaten i will go into that in a future video but as you see neymar curled this in sometimes all you need is the right player with good stats and just you know really kind of go for the, the finesse shot so that is it for me lads it's a short and sweet video i won't keep you guys too long go back and maybe watch it again if i have gone through this way too quick let me know and i can maybe extend the video out by like a minute or two for future episodes but i wanted to keep it you know between five and six minutes let me know your tips let me know if you these help you out or if you knew any of these or if they're very basic i'll be back quite soon with the advanced level where we kind of step it up a bit peace